Thank you to all the media following it this week. I'd like to thank our sponsors, of course, Steak and Prime Energy, keeping us hydrated through this fantastic evening. It's been an amazing night for us as misfits at Sheffield. We've had just over 5,000 fans in there tonight. Fantastic statement. But we saw some great fights back and forth. Uh, our first female fight. And, you know, for all those viewers around the world, I, I've seen the numbers and the build up to this. It's, like I said before, second to none. Um, you can't think of another sport. Crossover boxing really has arrived. It's about doing it on a consistent basis. 002 was a massive success on the back of 001. Next month, it's 003. November 17th, Austin, Texas. Vitor Belfort, legend, taking on Hazim Rahman Jr., the son of a legend, and wanting to make his way through the world as well. Very excited about that, and I'll pass it over to the main man himself, KSI. All right, well, one event, oh my God. We had everything, we had upsets, we had knockouts, we had uh, just entertainment throughout, and uh, yeah, man, this is Misfits, man. You're getting the whole package, you're getting everything you need, and I'm sure everyone who was watching at home enjoyed the whole event as a whole. And yeah, man, we're just going to keep going. More events. Uh, keep pushing the boundaries. Keep crossing over. Keep getting people excited. Entertaining the people. And uh, just making everyone win. All the fighters win. Especially, you know, someone like Chadwick who got beat today. You know, that doesn't mean it's over for him. If anything, that's a boost to his career. A lot of people are gonna see him and be like, this guy was entertaining as hell. And Ginty. And Ginty, tough as fuck. Yeah. And Ginty. Ryan Taylor. Ryan Taylor, tough, tough as fuck. Like, these are guys who are just coming out, even if they lost, coming out on top still. And do, you know, getting a dub in their own way. So, it's sick, man. This You've got to get that, that Ryan Taylor sleep fight and again tonight, my fellow co-CEO, man, Taylor, what a card you put together here. But, you always know in a boxing event it's special when a round goes like that second round of round two, yeah. Slim Taylor. I mean, mm. the whole arena, including the front row, on its feet. Um, just clapping. We were just clapping. Yeah. It was, just it was back wild. Back yeah. Before. What a fight. Incredible Whoa. night. We have knockout of the night going to Jay Swingler. Uh, the prime knockout of the night and the prime hydration um, fighter of the night is Slim. So I think they all put on incredible show. Round of applause for us. Come on. Can everyone else on the card? So they'll, they'll get their bonuses from Prime Hydration and uh, and they'll stay hydrated as well for a good for a good while. So, and, and Nams, tell us, you know, I just I just said obviously that the main event for O O three. I've also been breaking that you are obviously the, the, the master of the recipes of these cards. Can you give us a little glimpse of Oh, oh, well, I'll say this. How the, big is it? It's going to be really big. It's going to be really big. And the cool thing about 002 and 003 is it's setting up some stuff for 004, which is going to be the big boy. <laughs> and um, we got some really cool stuff. And the uh, JMX, you'll be um, you'll be excited about his next fight, which will be the winner of one of the fights. That's all I'll say. That will be on the 003 card. Um, and then obviously we got um, KSI and Logan fighting on the same night, 004. That's going to be absolutely epic. Um, and that's it. But tonight, we're very proud. Um, I think women have a great future in crossover boxing as well. I think they've gone, you know, listen, there's Astrid did really well and, showed, uh, and, and Keely did her thing. At the end of the day, this is a great space to cultivate that. And, and there are lots of female influencers that have been hitting me up about boxing. <laughs> and, and <laughs> nice. <laughs> good save, good save. And, and listen, we're gonna, uh, I, th I think we've got a bright future that we're excited about. We're doing this for one reason. We're passionate about it. And it's something, it's all a part of the legacy. That's, that's what it's about. And we wanna provide entertainment. We wanna provide influencers, YouTubers, from small to large, a stage to full growth and an opportunity to really showcase their personalities as warriors. So, you know, we're very, very pleased with tonight.
JJ, I got one for you here. Yep. Um, which fighters tonight are you most impressed by? Uh, <clears throat> I'd say two, Slim and Jay. I thought Jay's form was immaculate. You know, showed that he was properly working, you know, working on the body. You know, great shots to the face. And then Slim, we just showed them. We saw another side of Slim. We saw Slim. There's a guy that is tough. Tough as nails. Ryan was tough as well, but Slim was able to, you know, get the right shots, take some bangs of his own, and still come through. So, yeah, man, Slim's a good fighter. And what was it like just promoting tonight and not fighting? Oh, bro, I loved it, bro. Look at me, I'm just relaxed. I'm chill, man. This, maybe do this a few more times. Yeah, I'll do it more often, man. But no, honestly, like, it's it's nice to be able to promote other people and make other people, you know, have the limelight as well. I don't want to steal it all for myself <laughs> but uh yeah no it was um a good event and i'm excited for the next one do you have any no, just a second just a second jj else. so obviously slim he really impressed yeah. tonight by beating his long-time rival brian yes now would you down the line you you called out slim after your last time yeah would you down the line by slim maybe after our own later look for, for me the main goal for me is jake paul that's my end goal yes I don't mind doing a few side quests here and there. And look, I said, and I will always continue to say, that I can be anyone on these cards. The first card, I can be anyone. The second card, I can be anyone. So, if it makes sense, if people want it, then yeah, why not? I'll do it. But um, yeah, I guess it kind of depends if it makes sense for you guys, makes sense for the people, makes sense for his own, etc. Like, there's a lot of things. I'd say not for them. I don't know at the moment, but there it is. <laughs> yeah, Shut that down. <laughs> next question. Was it nice? Um, was it nice to kind of get back into the swing of things after obviously a particularly difficult experience last week? Was that to me? Yeah. Yeah, I mean the last week has been a bit of a holiday. Yeah, so uh, walk in the park. Um, no, it's yeah, of course it was. A, it was lovely. You know, this is the exciting thing for me always is on these fight weeks. I just don't know what to expect. Yeah? And that, okay, my fight week last week didn't end up in a fight and I've also had a few things I didn't expect but it's so fresh you know you, you have a crowd that loves it they're, they're, once again tonight I was surprised man they were in there for, they were in there before I got there and, and it was it was the atmosphere was great you know obviously it's a, it's a smaller show than the O2 you know that's the same as classic boxing but the fact is that everyone appreciates it so much you know I've never had so many thank yous for putting them on the show and you know and, it's just a, a really cool segment, and, 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 it, and by the way, it's great fun. I watched every single fight tonight. I keep learning about the space because that man there is the, the doctor, you know, he's, he's the expert on his on his matchups. But but now slowly I can say to him, also, my man's out. I like that guy, and, and we have a chat about it. Before he was like, I don't know anything. Yeah. And so it's a learning curve as well. But the setup, design. Ready to the zone, fantastic production again tonight. And uh, so, yeah, so I swerved your question a bit, but yes, I did enjoy this week. Uh, so like, when are we going to find out who you're fighting next? Uh, when, November 19th. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> 17th. 19th. 19th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, November 19th. So, find out on the, the zone, Mis Misfits and the zone X003 card. That's when you guys will find out. Yeah, and let's, 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 let's just bring up Hazim as well because we have Hazim Rahman in the house. Yes. Hazim. <laughs> we have Hazim Rahman in the house. I was lucky enough to promote Hazim's father, so I'm very, very delighted to have this 
Man next to us. It's a pleasure to be here. Are you excited for Austin? Are you looking forward to meet me talk about more head on? Have you got a message for me too? It was it was uh there was a word highly excited to I'm I'm that. I'm amped up, I'm ready to go. And um, you know, my message to Vito is just like, you know, I have a family, you have a family, so let's keep it clean. Yeah. That's that's all. I mean, let's keep it clean and when the bell rings, may the best man win. Jay, what's your opinion on this fight? I, mean, I think it's insane. I it think is, it's it crazy. Is. Like it's a crazy fight. It's uh you know, I know what Brockman can do, like in the ring. And I know, you know, he's got the hands and he's got the the movement and everything and yeah, man, with Vito, I mean, he's a legend as well. He's a legend in the space. I think it's it's crazy, but I love it. <laughs> it's crazy, but I love it. I think it's going to be entertainment. Each, every single crazy. round. It's a crazy world, isn't it? Well, wow, that's, yeah, exactly. It kind of just fits, yeah. I just think that. Well, that's what Misfits is. It, it brings the crazy and just goes, all right, let's, let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> And, and I mean, after obviously the disappointment of Jake Paul turning his back on you, yeah. uh, now you've got this big fight. Do you feel refreshed? It must be a real hard time after I mean, out, huh? Absolutely. I mean, somebody tweeted me the other day and they said, you know, they tried to bury you, but they didn't know you were seen. Yeah. So it's like, that, that was like perfect word. Do you think genuinely, I've been asked this, because I've, I've followed it probably from social media mm -hmm. lately, what's going on. You think he's been yeah. yeah. bad for you, yeah? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. He said it himself. His mom, his brother, his manager, his coach, none of them wanted him to fight me. So it was like, as soon as he found a, a, a little piece to go ahead and flip it on me, then he did it and found it throughout the fight. And Vito Bell for that was a big, much bigger statement. Absolutely. So, so that, that's much tougher that fight. 100% tougher fight. 100% like tougher fight. We're looking forward to Austin. Mams, I mean, you put together this blockbuster. It's going to be a great night, Austin. We're excited about that. So it's going to be really, really sick. Um, Fantastic. It's going to be great to be there as well. Just yeah. In America and just, yeah. It'll just be our first. Nice. Our this first will be the second time. Last time I went, it was the uh, Super Bowl. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Well, it's so. the first time for Misfits. First time for Misfits, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, take a few more questions. Yeah, yeah. So, JJ, so obviously. Um, no, no, we're going to be someone new. Go ahead. Um, so no, I was going to say that obviously, Kiesa, you said that your end goal here with boxing is Jake Paul, you're going to yes. fight me, you're going to knock him out. Yep. But now you've got Misfits, you know, a great promotional company, mm -hmm. you're going to have influencers going on. Do you plan to stick around after Jake Paul and continue, you know, headlining Misfits cards? I think I'd, I'd have to have a think, like, to decide what I'd want to do because I think after Jake Paul, I, you know, I might, might even want to slow down, <laughs> you know, have, you know, wife and kids. Uh, really just, because I've been going 100 miles an hour for like years now, you know. I haven't really fallen off, ever, <laughs> I'm just since I began, so it's, uh, it's one of the ones where after Jake Paul, it's like, okay, I probably need to figure out a new goal, or figure out something else for me to really just go 110%. Yeah, so I, I think for me, I think I'll just be promoting, and then uh, if I get excited by a certain fire, or if something makes sense, then you never know. Hasim, uh, is there, uh, you've been around the two camps, obviously you haven't sparred with JJ, but having been around the, the two guys, who do you think wins this, uh, this camp between JJ and JJ? <laughs> There's no one who knows better than you, right? I mean, I just, I feel like uh, JJ is highly, highly underestimated. Um, he hasn't even gotten the chance, really, to show his engine. Every time he's, he has gotten the chance, he's came out on top. He's already beat Logan. And uh, I think that, personally, I think Logan is a tougher fight than Jake. I think that he, he provides more difficulties to overcome. And he was just on it in that fight. He beat, he beat uh, Logan. So, to me, when you look at it, uh, of course, Jake has some highlight real knockouts, but they weren't guys like JJ. They weren't guys that, that, that fought with him at his pace or at his skill level. So I think that if, if he continues to listen to his coaches, he has the, the best team in the world. He continues to have the work ethic that, that I've seen. Shout out London Shoot Fighters. Yeah, shoot shout fighters. out London Shoot Fighters, best team in the world. I think that, you know, if, if no stone goes unturned, 
be absolutely missed you. JJ, could one of your side quests be after Jake Paul joining Logan Paul in the WWE as a tag team potentially? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look, you never know, man, but that would be pretty wild. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> what would your tag team name be? My, our tag, uh, probably Prime, prime Time. Prime Time. Prime Time. Prime Time. Prime Time. Prime Time. Yeah. Prime Time. already been used, but like, it could be a variation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was Prime Time? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Hey, no, 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 um, so, you know, I think he scared a couple of people and um, we are excited about his future. He's exactly what Misfits is about. He's nuts and he's also he's lovely. Not, he's not Conor McGregor, isn't he? He's, he's, not, like, he's, not Conor McGregor. he's like the he's DJ, DJ. Conor yes, McGregor. yeah. And he's, uh, he's exactly what Misfits is about. Like I say, he's, he's a good fighter and we're excited to see him in the ring with Misfits as well. And just to answer the question that you asked Jake, I don't know who asked it, but there was a question like, you know, are you be motivated after Jake Paul? You look at classic boxing and the way it evolves, you don't know what's around the corner in terms of names. Right now you've got Golden Goose, KSI, then you've got Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and then, it, and then there's, there's a, obviously a big gap. What Misfits will do is feed into that. Because the more times you see the names repeated, the more time, you know, Slim is now five and up, which sounds like a small record, but for crossover boxing, it's one of the bigger you records. Have, you have harder fights, relatively yeah. speaking, in yeah. crossover boxing, yeah. because it's a smaller pool. So you're forced to fight people on a competitive level a lot earlier on. Mm. You can't, you can't just pick and choose. Like there's not hundred, there's not thousands of people in there. Yeah. So <coughs> I expect all walks of life to join it. So I think the word YouTuber boxes, it started out. It's uh, evolved. It's, it's evolved because, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I expect to see politicians, you name it. <laughs> I, just, I just want to say as Politicians, as well, I, might get, I might get the gloves on again. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go, I just want to say like, in all combat sports, whether you're sparring or you've got a beef to settle, I think Slim versus Ryan Taylor was something we witnessed where it was so heartwarming because I know I've spoken to those boys almost every day leading up to this and there's been a lot of ill feeling and, and a lot of anger and whatever else there is, animosity between them. And it was all settled in the ring and I think uh, obviously big respect to Slim, he, showed, he showcased his skill and Ryan showed so much heart and after that they gained such respect for each other that it superseded any beef that they had. And I heard the conversation between them, it was very heartwarming. And that's what combat sports is about. You know, they'll probably have a beer together or something. Well, I, think, I, think one, one, I think the best example is seeing it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They they might might have have yeah. yeah. Let's, do, let's do a drink with uh, Slim and Wright. <laughs> yeah. It's to be like a whiskey or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. straw. Yeah. No, it's Slim's Muslim, so it's, oh, it's not an alcoholic no, whiskey. No, 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 no. I gotta say, for the question that they asked JJ about, what is after Jake Paul? Like, like, like Mr. Solomon said, after Kelly, after Kelly, what Kelly, after Kelly, what Kelly said, you never know what comes until after. I mean, he knocks out Jake Paul, Manny Pacquiao could knock out his door, Floyd Mayweather could knock out his door. Brothers fighting Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. You never know, exactly. you never know. At the end of the day, Jake Paul is a bitch. He's at the bottom <laughs> of the world. <laughs> Yes. He's at the bottom of the world. So it, it is going to be bigger and better things to come for you, bro, after Jake Paul. He, you're going to expose him mm. uh, uh, the way he should have been exposed years ago. Mm. This is a yeah. question for everyone. Who do you all think was the best fighter tonight? Best fight? Best fight or fighter? fighter? Fight, in general. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Taylor. 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 Yeah. All right, last question. It's a man. man. Okay. So, proper loud and happy bunch of side like the scene and D. Could you talk about what the different responsibilities those two companies have? Yeah, it's um, so it, basically Happy Punch is a promotions company, but it's, it's uh, and, and Proper Loud is 
advisory, so it just advises and you know that's where it goes basically from there. But we work together, we're very close with Happy Punch, so it's all friendly and it's all uh, it's all cohesive. So Kim's spoken about wanting to host an event, would that be something you work together on? Uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Before you go, can we get a piss off me and you, please? Go on, do it, do it.